As the nation begins to reopen, so does the sports world. By the end of July, all five major sports leagues could be back in business. Here's Pat Gallen. Here's you. Here's where we stand when it comes to the five major league sports teams in Philadelphia. The Union are back on the practice pitch. That began late last week with small group training in Wilmington. It's starting to look more and more like uh, the game that we all love. Uh, it, it's been great to obviously have the players come with a lot of energy and, and you know, you know, start to feel like uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel here and we're going to be back to playing soon, which is, is good. The MLS and the Players Association also approved a return to play plan. It's no secret now there, there's the rumored tournament that will be in Orlando uh, with the league. Um, that's kind of our next you know, return to play. Um, before that, though, we'll have uh, testing, that pretty stringent testing that we'll go through. Um, this Wednesday, that will take place uh, after hopefully those tests go successfully. Um, will be cleared to resume full team training. To Giroux, he also, plenty of good news. The Flyers reopened the skate zone in Voorhees on a limited basis today. As we know, the NHL has their plan in place to restart, but there's no timetable as of yet. The Novacare Complex is also opening its doors to limited Eagles personnel today. However, head coach Doug Peterson and the rest of his staff will continue to work remotely. And the Sixers have not released specifics, but sources tell CBS3 that several players have been taking part in voluntary individual workouts in Camden. As for the Phillies, that remains a question mark. MLB owners and players appear as far apart as ever on negotiations. The latest proposal was made by the owners this morning, which got a three-letter Twitter reply from Phillies outfielder Andrew McCutcheon, LOL. I'm Pat Gallen, CBS3 Eyewitness Sports.